Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video. Today we are doing Hall of Fame wide receiver of the Dallas Cowboys, Michael Irvin, aka the Playmaker. And before I quickly get into this video, I just want to say that uh, NBA roster breakdown videos will be coming out relatively shortly. Just want to hold off and wait for everybody to make their moves. I usually do them a little bit earlier than I have. Um, right now in the right in the present i usually do them a little bit earlier in the past but uh trying to get all the moves to go on before i actually get into the videos but heading on into roster break or not not into roster breakdowns into the player creation tutorial of michael irvin this guy is actually you know seven times in his career ended up having a, a, at least 1,000 receiving yards in a single season second all time in playoff receiving yards and playoff receptions and also a three times world champion five time pro bowler and one time all pro so uh this hall of fame wide receiver right here michael Irvin, one of the better receivers ever and it's funny because you look at his numbers for just the regular season and in terms of just pure receiving touchdowns receiving yards uh definitely doesn't get very close to the top you know in his career he ended up having 65 receiving touchdowns and in terms of just pure receiving yards only 11,904 which is no slouch you know no joke but there are just a lot of players or relatively decent amount of players who are uh, are above him but uh, didn't play a whole bunch of seasons in the NFL in all honesty um, definitely early on in his career didn't play as many games probably as he would have liked to but you know at the end of the day still had an unbelievable career obviously with the Super Bowl championships he had and the numbers he put up in the postseason helping Dallas and uh, as a physical receiver many regard him as one of the best ever and being able to use his body uh, as he wasn't you know the, the most um, you know the fastest guy in the world and the most athletic but his strength was you know above a lot of guys and people compare him um, to you know Ocho Cinco and Terrell Owens and players like th like that but uh, at the end of the day you know his production was still arguably even you know it was probably better than Chad Ocho Cinco's and Terrell Owens is a tough one to top but uh, in terms of winning that's something that he was able to do that those guys weren't those guys didn't win Super Bowl titles like Michael Irvin did uh, regardless of the teams they were on so um, in terms of the Madden I think Michael Irvin has been in the games over the past couple of years for the most part they typically put him in the game along with Troy Aikman and Emmett Smith um, I'm not sure about Aikman in terms of how many years in a row he's been in Madden in terms of just ultimate team but I know that Irvin and Emmett Smith typically are in the game Emmett Smith for certain and Irvin, I, I remember him being back in Madden 25. I'm pretty certain he was in there, and so I think he's been in the game basically every year since. And for the most part, they give him good numbers in terms of his uh, physical physical ability over the middle, in terms of a catch and traffic rating, um, and some other specific areas. But we'll get into that once we head on into the rating section of this video. But right here, we look at the equipment, and you know, pretty clean look for Michael Irvin. If you see what he wore during the prime of his career. Um, obviously, the Dallas Cowboys have a really iconic jersey in that you know many t people believe that it's basically the most iconic in maybe all of sports um, in, in the Dallas Cowboys uniform with the white and being America's team. Uh, but so you look right here. We're gonna go with the half sleeve whites right there, and I believe a uh, a white glove of some type. I believe I go Nike. Yeah, the Nike Vapor Knit uh, Secondary Glove for both hands right there. Um, and Michael Irvin, again, the all-white. And you see, I think at the end, I end up adding some cleats that basically were almost exactly uh, the same as what you see in a lot of both highlight films or highlight reels of Michael Irvin and uh, images of when he was playing um, in the 90s. So it's kind of crazy. They just have the basic uh, Nike cleat, but it, it absolutely looks exactly like what he wore a lot of times, the vintage 70s, 80s look they have right there, and the standard socks. So I think it actually looks pretty pretty authentic to what uh, Michael Irvin would look like if you put him in the game and um, I feel like for some reason they don't even do make it look like this for some reason the people who insert Ma Michael Irvin into the game for some reason I feel like this even looks better than that so I guess that's part of the reason why I like to do these because sometimes they turn out to be a little bit more accurate looking than um, even the ones in game but that's just my opinion on it I don't really remember if the, even Michael Irvin was in this year's game but it uh, looks pretty good right there and we look at the ratings right here. Going to give him extremely high catching at 96. 
Uh, I believe the jumping rating I give him is pretty solid as well. You know, he can he could go up and get the ball and definitely across the middle uh, when he got hit a couple times. It's kind of crazy because it's fun. It's really fun to watch Michael Irvin and his intensity even today as an analyst. I love that he hasn't lost that passion and emotion. Um, and you know, you can watch a lot of different stuff on Michael Irvin. Uh, NFL Network does their little top 100 rankings on players, and uh, you have former teammates and guys talking about him and specifically Troy Aikman and it's really fun just to hear a lot of people describe how uh, emotional he was but also how focused he was on winning and that's something that uh, is really awesome to see because at the end of the day all you want for your individual franchise um, if you're you know a good player and a good teammate is to win titles and that's what Michael Irvin was able to do with Dallas for you know th four years he won three titles so that's kind of insane and um, him and the Cowboys obviously the 90s are uh, an incredible dynasty but that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden player creation tutorial videos. I know normally dur during this time of year I try to get into uh, the NBA roster breakdowns. And we are going to complete all 30 teams. But again, I the free agency period I feel like is still kind of uh, running a, a little bit. So I kind of want to hold off a little bit. But I'm going to try and get them out to you guys as quick as possible. But again, uh, in reference to this video, please leave a comment down below if you want me to do a specific player in the future. Once again, hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and yep, thanks for watching.